It's about time to check your mailbox for Census 2020 invitations as the city of Wichita Falls continues to push for everyone to take part. Starting tomorrow, invitations to respond to the once a decade count will start to hit each household. Lauren Linville met with city officials and nonprofits too and talked with them about how it's much more than just a population count. Everyone counts in Wichita Falls, but what if everyone in Wichita Falls doesn't count themselves? We, we wouldn't be able to feed people. We have about one in six that are food insecure and one in four when it comes to our children. Uh, last year we distributed over 3.3 million pounds of food. It's going to cut the funding that we need to serve children. Um, you know, in the past we've been undercounted. The consequences for an undercount in the 2020 census go beyond an incorrect population, affecting nonprofits like the Wichita Falls Area Food Bank and child care partners. It hurts people that we know need services. And some of the people most in need of the services with the funds that we get back based on our decennial count are the ones that so need to hear the message that it is confidential. It is easy to do. It takes less than 10 minutes. The city of Wichita Falls has encouraged and educated residents to count themselves. Now the time is here and invitations to respond are on their way to your mailbox. Every address will receive an invitation letter from the official census director. It'll be from Stephen Dillingham. Uh, from what we know, it will have the Census Department of the Commerce logo on the outside of the envelope. Karen Montgomery says if just 1% goes uncounted, $2.1 million in federal funding would be lost per year in Wichita Falls. That's more than $20 million over the next decade. We get a lot of money or food from the USDA program um, through commodity programs. We also um, have our Kids Cafe after school feeding program. There's also the meal programs at, at our local schools that are federal. Funded. I know a lot of us, it's paperwork, it's uncomfortable, we think it doesn't matter, but the fact is, is it does matter. The once every 10 years census can be a make or break. Local officials hope you make this one count. Unlike the last 230 years, folks can now respond by phone and online. There are a number of resources for if maybe you don't get the invitation or don't have a computer or maybe you don't speak English. You can find all the details in this story over at TexomasHomePage.com.